creepy farts and it, it, it amuses me to no end how many creatures have been felled by my mushroom's fart. <laughs> Good morning, this is Calamity Calling, and I'm trying out a new face cam format. What do you think? Do you like it better than the rectangle, or do you prefer the circle but without the frame? Because I played with the tech and I made it so that the frame will slowly rotate in colours, which you might notice it if I chop things in half, but I just thought it was a fun little touch. Um, we are going to raid Bill's compound. I'm very excited for it. I have jacked up all of the quality settings. I think it's currently recording at like 8,000 kbps. I think that's the the phrasing. Um, so my file is absolutely massive, but it's gonna look nice. I'm bloody determined now. Where are we going? That is a very good question. I do not know the answer to. Okay, flowers for a lady. I'm not gonna do that one because so far in the game, I've only found one type of flower. So if anyone knows where I find more of those, that would be fabulous. Okay, so there are very few letters on here, so I'm assuming... Oh, haven't heard from him in a while, so let's start with him. And then to Raid Bill. Also, settings, because I I do listen to your comments and I do listen, believe it or not, to um, the things you suggest. I'm just not good at things. Contrast up, brightness, saturation also up. Someone did warn me though, if I put this too high, it's gonna look a mess. Let's see, what? where are we? Back. Okay, it's very pretty. Doesn't look too much, too contrasted, right? If it does, let me know. I also have no idea why I look so washed out right now. Marshall, hello. Yeah. Marshall, I am coming and we are going to do a thing. Where's the horse? Coming! Well this was a quick start wasn't it? Right, horse thief, that's not yours, let me change to a lasso. Right, see I'm learning. Oh no, 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 no. Lasso, sorry. It's been about a week since I played up, I forgot what the buttons did. Right now I have a horse to lasso. Come here, horsey. Not about you, human. Behave. Oh. Oh god. That was on me. That was on me. Excuse me, horse. Oh, well, I just messed up royally on that one. Come on. Let's take you back to your owner. I'm sure they miss you. Come on, why are you shooting at me? I'm busy. Oh god, run horse, run. Run. He's angry. I took the horse back to the owner. Come on. I don't want to die for this errand. I was just trying to be nice. Maybe if I get onto the ranch, he'll stop the horse. Come on! Okay, I am actively trying to ride. I don't know why this is going so slowly. Is it because I'm not meant to go there? Fine. I'm going around. Of course, I would appreciate it if you could run with me a bit. Please. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry about your horse, but that was very annoying. Anyway, moving on. Right. I wonder what the marshal wants me for. Because he's been quiet for some time. Although I felt really bad about the chewing out he got from those women um, on the last quest I helped him with because it wasn't his fault. I understand their anger and their upset, you know, horrible things happened. But he did his best. But I get it, emotions always in control. Oh yes, and I helped the man. Um, I paid for the land to get the water, for the water dousing rods rather, and then he gave me the money I had to pay for it back, plus like 10%. That was nice of him. I'm not going to ask questions of these people. I have long learned just not to ask. It is much safer for me yeah. and my honour, which I'm very determined to get the full honour, or the good honour, or you know, positive ending. 
well, I don't know. It's like Red Dead 2. There really was no good ending. There was just a less bad one. I still get a bit misty-eyed when I think about all the comments during the, the last ride bit. That made me really sad. Positive note though, hopefully we will get to hogtie Bill Williamson in this episode because I have had quite enough of his nonsense. Twice now he's shot at me. Not very nice. Up, 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 up. Also since I turned the horse to horse rel camera relative steering I think it was so much easier. It looks like a movie cover. I think turning up the contrast was a good idea. Not interfering. Ha Absolutely I bloody not. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. Dick. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Yeah. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Oh, Marshall! Fudge muffins. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> they are not doing this to Bonnie. Bonnie's good people. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get out from there! You know, part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? Give her. That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him Who? set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do don't deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Whole government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? I'm going to brutalize Bring this up to man. in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have Dude. a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! I'm gonna murder him. I'm gonna murder him many, many times over. We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. It didn't say he had to be alive when we delivered him. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, it's Bumpkin up, Sean. Let's go. Quick yes. as you can, Deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay I'm sorry, me, sir. Marston. I won't let she anything doesn't deserve happen this. to her, sir. Come on, let's ride hard to Tumbleweed. Okay. They're going down. I do not. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I'm not happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now nope. you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They're holding they come my door down here dressed as cocky as the king of what? diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you. Then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas yeah. I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. We're going so slow, right? Son of a bitch, so important to them. Norman Deke, Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for Punch you. Him. Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. You oh, shut up. the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. 
she's good people. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. I've been there. Some people say it's haunted. It's it was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum Fun. like Peak here. A whole popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I'm getting flashbacks to the... I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlane, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm yeah, here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and past. I don't know. Sometimes Everyone it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. He just wants to be on his How is this mess supposed to turn out? Pending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much Great. difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Then look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard in civilization. If your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. We shouldn't what have to have... I've arrived here, the law ain't really... We shouldn't have to have formalized rules and written guidelines. I'm not saying they aren't important. That's not what I'm, that's not what I'm saying at all. But I'm saying that people shouldn't do good things or justify being a good person because the rules say so. I'm not wording myself very well. We should be good people, or at least we should try to be good people and we should try to do good things, which I'm well aware means different things to different people because of who we are. And if the only thing guiding our actions is the potential for negative feedback or responses, that's questionable. Criminals that are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. That's you know you that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. Why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East I hope to have a spoiler in. I ain't had my turn. Oh, I'm gonna hurt you. you. I'm gonna hurt you in many invented ways. Just like at the start of Red Dead Redemption 2, I will geld you. And I will find it just as funny as I did back then. Come on, boys! Over the bridge! You can swear on all of the things you want. I'm still gonna hurt you because you do bad things and say bad things. I thought I just heard the start of the song, the Oompa Loompa song from Charlie and Chocolate Factory. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum. This plan feels to play like fair. Sean. My ass. Sean's yeah. last moments. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind you. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. Oh, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you so I bad. I don't like this one. Like it She's rain. not rich. She works really hard. Well, the Maybe two she are. Won't not go home. She been fucked so good. I'm gonna you break save you. Some of that breath of breathing? Get these ropes off me, boys! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Hang on. Normally it can lock on. What do you think you're playing at? Where's another one of them? Connie, we're coming! Is that her? But hang on, pop up, pop up, sir. Oh, 
Where are they? Hang on. I want to do this right. Bonnie deserves it. Where's Bonnie, you sons of bitches? You think you're tough guys, do you? I'm going to end all of you. Did I just try and shoot through a building? Oh god, I can hear her. Oh no! Bonnie! Let her go or I'll kill every last one of you! Down you go! Yeah, there's someone over here. There you are. Down you go, you bastard. You don't play shit with Bonnie. Bonnie's good people. <gasps> no! Oh god, Bonnie! Bonnie, don't struggle, stay as still as you can! Be fine, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming! Where is she? Where's the hangman? I can't see it. Touch her again and you're all dead! Where are you? Fuck's sake! Bugger off! Bonnie! Get away from her. Here it is. Wait, like you! Get her down, get her down. Quick. Oh, Bonnie, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? You bastard! How dare you! I see you over here. Ain't no, no down. need to die, friend! You're on our side, good. Right, there's someone up here as well. Oh, there you are. Sir, you are a terrible shot. How have you not got me yet? He was right there. Oh, Bonnie, sweetheart, are you okay? Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank did you. They... Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long? Oh, they long? did bad things. Stupid man. Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. I love you, Bonnie. You're great. <coughs> oh, please. I hope they didn't do anything. Bill, I am coming for you with not just historical anger, but active. I wanna end you. Bastards. Bonnie wasn't a part of this fight. No, alright, I'm going home. Well, not home, but you know. <laughs> His biggest enemy. Doorways. Ledges and unsecured corners. Right, where is he? Oh, he's a long way away. Um, I'm assuming there's no... Yeah, there's not going to be a ride out of here, is there? Right. Fort Mercer is where they are. Marshal! I'm coming. Where's my horse? Oh, hang on, what's in here? This looks like it might have stuff. Oh. Hey, horse. No. Let's try upstairs. It's worth a oh. Worth a look. Might be something up here. Ah, they just ripped the stairway off. Ooh. This place is creepy. Oh a box! Yay! I love when I find these boxes. Money? No. Okay, downstairs. Now, I have been playing a lot of Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I love it. I feel like um, it's it's like the final evolution that this the the Borderlands series was always meant to be. It just it controls so well. I really enjoy playing it. I think I've spent like twenty seven hours playing it since I got it. Um, and I think and because of that, every 
pistol. Hello. Every time I see a barrel now in my head, I instinctively press the right trigger because that's your smashy smashy button. Ooh, tumbleweed. Now, I have got to go that way. Let me just... Also, it's finally warm again. Well, it's consistently warm again. So I can start wearing shorts again. But I, I'm so sorry, I just desecrated someone's grave. I promise it was a... Well, that was a bit underwhelming, wasn't it? Hang on, let's walk around the corner. No, I'm not hitching, I've got somewhere to be. There we go, going in the right direction. Is anyone else playing Tiny Tina's on the lap? Whilst we are travelling to the next destination. Um, I really enjoy it. I know that Tiny Tina can be a bit of a polarising character. Some love her, some hate her. Same as Claptrap, he drives me absolutely bloody mental. But Tina, I love her. Her favourite, her quests were always my favourite. Um, and, oh, in the previous games. I haven't played Borderlands 3 yet. I got that in the Epic Sale for free. Um, so I'll play that when I've finished Tiny Tina. But I, I love it. I love the format of the overworld. I like the different themes in the games. Although, I prefer the ye olde themed levels that over the um what they're called over the, the the sea themed levels i don't want to spoil it for anyone who's playing um but it's wonderful it is a collaboration of the best characters i would argue from the games with the point i'm at so far Let's go. um and i really like and you know you disagree with me if this isn't your thing um, okay, I'm gonna go. I don't know what he wants for stopping right by me. Um, I really like that you can't customise your outfit, which, um, you know, my thing in games is that I always try and make them look like me because I find them far easier to find when they look like me. As in, I lose people game. on screens. Maybe you'd like to earn a little something searching around the bouts for a few plants I'm allowed on. Here's the deal. Whichever one of us gets back here first with the right plants wins on the bet. Nah. I'm sorry. Come on. I'll remember you're here, but I'm more interested in the quest at the moment. Um, and... What was I saying? Oh, I blanked. Um... Oh yes, that's it. I normally try and make my characters look like me, but I'm really... Oh, this is pretty. I'm really enjoying in Tiny Tina the fact that I don't... I can control the materials and the fabrics and the yeah. colours, but I can't control how my costume looks, and as you level up, your costume changes. Um, and I have the... I had the... I have the dragon friend, and I now have the mushroom friend. Which is funny because when I pet him he does a little dance and I enjoy that. And one of his superpowers is that he farts and it, it, it amuses me to no end how many creatures have been felled by my mushroom's fart. <laughs> um, but it's such it's such an enjoyable, a, enjoyably absurd game. And I like it. And in, in an age where I think so many of the games we play are serious, this is the kind of silly thing I need at the end of like a long work day to just chill out oh how how did i already go such oh great so that feels compound and i already went the wrong way come on i got too excited talking about tiny tina and just ran away with my self okay so it isn't entirely my fault the map disappeared assuming he's up here ah here you are I do like these exits, they are very useful. I'm going to stay on my horse because if it wants me to get off, it'll make me get off. Beep boop. The assault on Fort Mercer. Yes, I called it. I thought for like the last three episodes we'd do this, so this is, this is nice. Well, it's not nice, but you know. Oh, sudden cold shiver. That's a fire hazard. Jack. Why does he walk funny? Marshall. Yeah. Gentlemen! <clears throat> ah! That wasn't. Oh! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
I'm sorry, that's just it's a time. really good screenshot. Let's go. He said it was a wallpaper. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> oh, Seth, but you can't leave weirdo. It too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? What? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Right, oh, I see. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. Mm. Yeah. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Survival, I think. That was always his thing before he ran away a lot. I see a lot of both love and hate for Bill's character online, and I find it quite curious. Esconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Is that what we're calling this? Okay. Turning the contrast up really makes a positive difference on this. Come on! Let's go! Is there not going to be someone in here to give me cover fire? All right, oh. good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales pattern, uh -huh. I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest Just with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. <laughs> Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck there. Bet. He's delightful. Yeah! Weird and creepy, but kind of delightful. Greetings, my good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap. Fire! Oh, I can see his hat out the top. That amuses me greatly. No, John, no! Well, if this was just a delight, but am I supposed to be aiming? Maybe. But I'm also having great fun just firing at will. Oh, sorry, Seth. Didn't realize that was you. Well, come on, then. Lock and load. There you are. Hello. The power of my bullets are getting through this box. Come on, John! I'm trying. I'm just not very good at steering my semi-auto. There we go. You dead now? Because you brought us in here! I'm 
just gonna scroll slowly across the landscape because I'm more likely to hit that way. Uh, you should probably also. Oh, I shot him in the ankle. That probably was me. I thought we'd go more stealthy. Ooh, that was a bang bang. Is this a bang bang? Yes. Wow, there's a lot of men in this map. Not expecting it. I get now why we went into the same water. I just heard the, you know, like the cartoon sound where people get hurt and fall down there. Good job on your west, shooting along too. I appreciate your efforts. Where are they shooting from? Ah, there you are. Wait for them to pop up. Now where else are they shooting from? Up here. Oh, it's you. How is this? Did that good? Did I do it? No, I didn't do a good job, I know. <laughs> Bill's still in here. Fucking Don't day. count your chickens. Alright, let's go. Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! Yeah, I am. Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! Yeah, I am. Oh, hang on. Sorry, ammo. Let's go up the stairs. Oh, guns. Grabbing ammo as I go. Oh, I Nigel's off. Bye, Nigel! Oh, they're up here. Sorry, I couldn't figure out if you were on my side or someone else's. Excuse me, why am I shooting with this one? I like this one. Where am I shooting at? I need to figure out where they're shooting from first. Oh, that works. Okay, so there's one further oh, along here. Over there! More of the bastards! Coming! Oh, hang on. Down. Fine! My God. Is that enough? Look out, boys! There's more of them! Ah, there's always more of them. I like locusts. There you are. I don't know. Oh, sorry, he's not asking me. Got kind of caught up in it. You bastards! Oh, I was gonna shoot him. That's annoying. Hang on, I need to live. Come on, you, where are you I'll shooting? That boat, boys. Go oh. on, let's regroup. Okay, I was climbing up to get to him. Hello? I don't think it's this easy. I think there's more Come going on. on. Stay with me, boy. Okay, but this is too easy. That's the last of them. Whoa. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Adam let me in, for goodness sake! The fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got a sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oh, oil guy! Oh, what Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock Bill's it behind holding him! him to ransom, isn't he? Oh, we've got company, gentlemen! These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way! Oh my good lord above! There must be a hundred of them! Ah, bulls. Oh look, I can see some TNT. That's something. So it's bigger. Don't move, horse! I'm sorry, but you're in my way. Sorry, I like the horses, I just don't like those guys. So how did you get through this? Oh god. Okay. Oh, there's an Did 
Does that, does that make a different noise when it hits your bullet? That's what. Ah, oh, get the fuck away from me. Get off your horse and car. Boy. I see you. I also see you running at me. These people's ability to like withhold from guns is or like avoid being shot at is damn amazing. What are you shooting at? Bit up, bit up, bit up. I am Bill not good at that gun. We looked everywhere. Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on! Hi, Rich. Marston. Hello. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh. You'll know now. Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. That's <laughs> yes, bandit country. Yeah. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading That's to Mexico. Annoying. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Javier. He refused to shoot at Arthur, right? He was the one who, um, gone to the air. Unless I'm thinking of someone else. 30 gold, round of 281. Well, hot. Damn. Might as well grab some ammo. Oh, sorry, loot body. Loot body. Four dollars. Eh, not really worth the effort. Okay, so, um, guess we're going to Mexico. What have you got for me? It's not quite, um,. I've completely blanked on the name of the place we went in Red Dead 2. No. Ooh, Irish, you're a long way off. Wait, is, is this the Mexico place? You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, is that the flowers one again? Yeah. Do I have any secret quests around here? Um, Just don't want to miss too much before I progress i don't know if you come back brittle brush troll say that three times fast now horsey i require to Ooh, do they have they oh <laughs> you're glad to see me too i'm i'm happy about that now where are you there you are now, horse, which there are some front runners for the name of the horse. Aria, Arabella, Horse Durves. Um, there was another good one as well. Oh, uh, Churchill, I forget the second, Churchill something. Um, so, I'm going to run a poll soon, when this episode comes out, um, 
with a list of the names and what I will... Oh, this is a windy path. Of what the, the horse will be called, because it does need a name. Maybe I can't... I've got the feeling, though, if I call it horse d'oeuvres, um, I'm just going to still keep calling it horse. Maybe that is. Maybe that's the reason it should be the horse's name. But I feel like this animal deserves a bit of a better name than just horse. Hello. I'm going to leave that alone. Bambi! Nope. And big horns. Is that a ferret? A lot of animals around here. Oops. That was a terrible shot. I do apologise. My first thought was I need to peel these animals. Technically that is correct, yes. I'll squelch you bits. Let's make this quick. Oh god, that sound right in your ears is just oof. Where was the other one? It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? I hear bullets, but no thank you. Do I get the reindeer horns? That's interesting if I do get the horns, because I can imagine you'd use them for gun parts or like the Oh Lord, this is nasty. Yeah, I'm with you on this one, John. Ooh, I did get antlers. Hang on, there's a plant here. Are you a new plant or an old plant? Ooh. No, you're a plant I've already got. Horse? There you are. Now let's run away from the shooty shooty bang bang. The only shooty bang bang should be from me. And I'm not trying to hurt anyone. I wonder how much antlers sell for. But then I'm curious on people's opinions about the difficulty of shooting animals because I know the... Oh, sorry, catching traffic, whatever. The, the pelts, you know, like they don't have good pelt, bad pelt, etc. Which you had in Red Dead 2, which was constantly. No, no pelt I caught was... I think I got a good one a few times, but that was the best I got. Um, but the people think animals are easier to catch in this one. Because at the start of Red Dead... There we go. Sorry, if I died there, I would have had to go all the way back, and I can't be bothered with that. I just want shiny stuff. What have we got here? Money. 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 Chest! Yeah! Love the chest. Hang on. Apparently this chest doesn't love me back. What have I got? What have I got? Ooh, 21. That's quite a lot of money. The horse is already gone. It's not my fault. I still feel bad enough the first time. You saw nothing, riders. Excuse me. Where are you going? We've got to go this way. Let's go. Let us go. I'm sure I can make lots of things with buck antlers. Maybe they're... Can they be inlaid to make things pretty, or is that just the... Um, or are they not the right thing for that? Because they're, they're cartilage, right? Not bone? Come on. I don't know. I don't spend that much time outdoors. Oh, that sky is gorgeous. I didn't realise I was so close to, the, um, to Mexico. And I know that they say a lot in Red Dead 2 that you can't get to Mexico or something. Like, they've made it so you can see it, but you can't actually get to it unless you use a cheat, I think. Um, I didn't explore it in the second game, because I didn't think I could. But this would be quite interesting. Green Hollow. I was about to say I recognise this. Of course I do. I've got a home here. Or a flat, whatever you want to call it. 
I really expected to die more times when I was raiding Bill. Um, I was also expecting to find Bill. I feel quite frustrated that he wasn't there. Bill is turning out to be a lot of work. And I haven't decided yet if the extra labour he's making me go to means I'll grant him mercy or not. I probably will because, you know, I don't want to be like Micah. I never want to be like Micah. Uh, I make a conscious effort when I ride about not to go as fast as possible. I saw a gunshot. Um, so that just in case the recording does get Let's all go. pixely. Um, I am trying my best. I'm trying to figure out the tech and my gadgets and whatnot. Um, Come on. But it does make it certain to me that I will, where possible, try to find the PC versions of games because it seems just so much easier to capture them without that extra step because something about the extra step is I think what's causing the problems with the quality. Battle- hey I'm here! Almost. Hello Sean, you want to tell me why you're so certain that people here love you? Oh, itchy nose, itchy nose. What the hell went on here? I don't know, but what's Irish done? We shall be together in paradise. <laughs> yes, Dutch well, said that before. That's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, Mr. Marston. I've come hey to yo. wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend, Mr. Irish, here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Dutch said that too. Come on then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, I run with things on now. now. And look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but you know, have I've ever done you wrong. No, yes. not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Will you? Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This Peking. land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> That's one well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men Aww. of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> I've got to be careful because he... Oh, he is just pulling it across. Good. This is... Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. Wonder why hasn't got like a mean? winding system. In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities what? straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Shite, somebody doesn't like it. Cut the rope, Irish. We're sitting ducks here. For the love of God! I guess I got up to more mischief than I remember on the last spectacle. All right, I'll be in the the tinderbox once we lose these sons of bitches. Jump to it, Johnny boy. There's a rifle at the back of the raft. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box at the back of the raft. Get the hell out! Where are they shooting from now? Bloody Nara! Where are we docking? Sakes alive! Duck. Hey, they're in the rocks. Give it a minute. Shite up! For Christ's sake, Johnny, shoot the sons of bitches! I'm trying, believe me. You ain't very friendly, bro! I thought you said you had friends. Friends don't do this. I mean, that's... How would you expect to warm up from anywhere? You're a bit of a pillow, aren't you? 
What did you do though? To get people to treat us like this? Because this you is. Know who I am. Yes, that's probably the problem, I think. Where are they? Don't get hell, you dumb bastard! Damn it. He's down. Anyone else? Can we dock? But thank you for shooting with me. Most of them just let me get on with it and do all the work. You up there. Come on, we're on oh, flipping heck. What's he throwing at us? Oh, it is. Oh. I wasn't expecting to see that. that. Pardon? Someone's trumpets? Do you particularly dislike that instrument? We have different types of friends, I think. Hang on, he he's got a hole in his bum. I swear to God, I am trying to shoot. Hang on, turn around. Believe me, I'm trying. What the hell do you do to these fellas? Yeah, that's my question. It was something to do with money, and possibly some misunderstanding about a fellow's daughter, but the details escape. Down, down, Chaser! I'll go down the ladder! Hell, I can't see. Nobody shoots at Irish at Lives! I mean, clearly they do. Stop shooting from back there! Stop it! I'd give up now if I was you. No, I like that sound there because it's very, you know, like a video game background. We stash some ammunition near the back of the raft. Grab it if you're running low. You got it all wrong. It's what did they get all wrong, Irish? Did you not do the thing? I've got a feeling you did do the thing. I came into this round quite. Come on. Oh boy, these lot are so angry. I expect you'll go out of the pit you. Carmo, you got the wrong man! Go down! That's the pillar! Damn. You lot are making me tired. I've got a long old day to get here, okay? Oh, oh, the like oh, the colors changed. This is the pit. They do! At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a butter liquor, too. What, that polka? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out a of button? a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. This is not well, bad. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Yeah, I don't enjoy that so much. The cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure ratto means rat, my friend. I like it though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? What's wrong with my name? Um. For the love of God! What? They're still no coming behind that big rock. Uh, Again? Fucking heck. Why are we standing up? That is not the best. Clearly they do. And they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on fraternizing on your glorious and Come on. I see you too. Bye bye. Come on. Uh, I'm quite proud of that one. Down I go! Until I see where the- Oh, fudging heck! Dynamite? What happened? Are you alive? Come on. Come on. Stop popping about like a fish, John. Look up, pillar! They're on top of the cliff! Yes, I had realised this. What? Hang on. Come on. Blop about. 
You can do this, John. Wiggle, wiggle. Bloody Nara! Why has everyone got a grudge against Nora? What did she ever do to them? Lily, they do. Where are you? You. Oh, well, they're making me do it again. Oh, my Oh, fudge. Oh, come on, John. Wakey, wakey. It's only your eardrums. You've got another one. On the cliff to your left. Boy, the bastard. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm really gonna gonna your fight. I want that money Did you? Because these people don't seem to think so. So much for your damn connections, Irish. Well, it's um, it's certainly a grand entry, isn't it? Stop signaling! Trying to aim. There we go. That was fun. Okay, right. Actually, shooting at people now. Heal up a bit. Down you go. Whee! Into the water. Splash. I like when you get splashes on the screen. I like I'll miss these escapades, Johnny boy. I Have really you? Will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. Oh, look. Is this where we dock? Land? I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. God damn it, there's another two. Oh, oh no, did not mean shoot the bird. Let's shoot the people. How did you get back up? We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that coat in death? Man? It's yours! <laughs> These horses look fresher! <laughs> Hi, <laughs> that's Before impolite. Before fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let Have some respect. Take. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> well, I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, saw him shoot a man. Drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy! <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny. But he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. I, he was a real nice chap. Irish. Or maybe he was a real Shut bastard. Up. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one. <laughs> Sit on a thistle. Oh my god. Ooh, I can't cross another barrier of fame. Let's have a look at what we shall start the next episode doing. Ooh, what's that? I know you. Oh, it's the man again! It's the man who was talking about Hattie! Okay, okay, okay. That's exciting. Um, but none of the other names are showing on here yet. Okay. Perdido Chuparosa. So that's the place they kept talking about. Hmm. 
we will start the next episode with the I Know You quest, because then I'll also get to explore some of the land, and then see where we go from there. Because as usual, Irish has proven to be as useful as a bottomless watering can. I mean, he did get us here, so maybe it's more like a wholly bottomed watering can. It was amusing. I got to see people go, wee, which I love. I love that. I love video game physics. I really do. They are a whole other thing. Um, yes, I'm very happy. Have a very lovely day, most importantly of all. You do you.